Now, just here, I am um, looking at a number. You've got to guess it. Four. Too small. Ten. Too small. Twenty-nine. Nineteen hundred too big. It may look like this group of pupils are getting some extra maths tutoring, but actually they're part of an experiment focusing on how lessons get planned and then taught here at Swain Park School. Twenty-six point seven is too small. Twenty-six point nine. Good. Twenty-six point nine. Well done. Who's who feels? Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to teach some of this. Yeah. yeah. So you're keen to teach? Yeah. 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 There's always been a, a strong tradition at Swain Park of including pupils in the teaching and learning process and one of our most innovative um, practices recently has been to include pupils actively in the lesson planning process. That ties in perfectly with our ethos at the school and also supports our work on staff development and the personalised learning agenda and the benefits have been significant already for all of those involved. For our staff, I think it gives them a fresh perspective on lesson planning and I think that fresh input is really useful. I have a number written down here with six decimal places. Sally Pemberton is taking these mixed ability year nine pupils through a lesson on decimal places. They will be planning, then delivering their own version of this lesson to their fellow classmates. 20 and 30. 25 is too small. When you sit down to plan a lesson, you know where you want to get the pupils, but it can be a really lovely task. It doesn't reflect learning, really. I mean, learning is a very dynamic process. It's, it's, it's not a straight line. Um, you know, it's, it's a journey and, and lots of, you know, learning is different for everybody. And I think it's much easier to, to plan when you've, you've got a context. Where are we up to? You haven't got much written really down there, Kim. Out. Is it going a bit quick for? Is it going a bit quick? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because what's happening, I think, is, and you need to remember this for tomorrow. When we're planning the lesson, when you're planning the lesson for tomorrow, remember how you feel now, because some people will feel like that tomorrow. What resources should could I have given you that would have made it easier? Gridded paper. Because Gridded paper. Yeah. So, right. So, because this is what I want you to think about. So you'd you'd have found it easier using this. Yeah, yeah. Instead of weird on timeline instead of a horizontal. So you like the idea of a line? Yeah, timeline. Hor yeah. Horizontal line? Better. We also had the idea of line, but we had the idea of cards as well, so you can also make games, so yeah. you have fun while you're learning. Right. Yeah. So you like make okay. it like, enjoyable, make it easy for them, then get into it. Right. Then so they might you... start mucking around. And you could like always write a number on a card and just like put it on like their yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you've got the number it. on your head and you don't know what it is, but yeah. everyone else does yeah. know. Yeah. You like yeah. try and guess what you do. <laughs> oh, right, let's try that. <laughs> That's good. That's a great idea. That's super. But do you think I could have changed yeah. anything yeah. when I was explaining it? No, I think they discovered it for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, was kind of I think I confused her at one point yeah. and I need, to, I need to go back to that and I need to check that. The benefits we've seen in terms of you know, the, the growth in their understanding because they have to really engage with the topic quite deeply because they know they're going to have to explain it to somebody else. So not just understand it and answer a question, but understand it much better than that and they want to. What were your opinions of the role play lesson with you where you had to come up, you had preparation time and then you had to come up and I do think, your role play? I that think that was, was really good. Yeah, that yeah, worked. That good. More people were having more fun because they were trying to act it out at the same time. Yeah, because it's a role play so you get to see like what actually happens in real life. NQT Rebecca Collins is getting input for her planning of a genetic ethics lesson from these mixed ability year 10 pupils. Do you think the role play rather than a debate or do you think yeah. a more formal I think role debate? Play. Role play. Role play. Because you get information in, but you also get to like, perform it to the class and like take time to prepare. Right. But it's more if fun, you mix like, you know, some confident people with some shy people to get bar, yeah. it might work better. I think we do need to mix a bit because because we're in year ten, we've just like come into different bands now, and I don't know many people right. in no, there. I don't know many people in the class. No, right. so, so if you mix us with people we don't know, we might we might get to know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then work and be able to work well. Are we going to give the same? questions to each group, like how are we actually going to run it, how they're going to present it so that you will learn something when they come up to show their case. So of different questions and then we can discuss them all at the end. Yeah, like was... take notes or something, or like evaluate after they've done their role play. Are you saying that to motivate them to do it well, or are you saying that because you enjoy evaluating each other's work? Where... Just, I'm just yeah, interested, where you, does that come from? You can from? understand like what they're talking about. Yeah, because you don't want to sit there thinking, well, that was a waste of time watching that group, so yeah. I didn't get anything out of it. 
What have you got for the evaluation? So easy to understand. Okay. Uh, did they use scientific facts? Were all the facts correct sort of thing? Was it well presented? Was their opinion clear as well? Yeah. Did you realise uh, so much was involved in planning your lessons? And this is what, no. this is what we do really. as teachers. No, because I wanted to be a teacher and I, was, I didn't know that you had to do all this work. But we just come in and talk what you already know. <laughs> <laughs> and just to let you know now from, from this, from what you've done, I will probably spend another two hours preparation time for this lesson. <laughs> Working with pupils is really enabling teachers to revisit their planning, you know, come outside the box a little bit, really improve their planning. And, you know, I think that's having a knock on right across the curriculum. And, and as we do more of it, I think teachers are engaging far more deeply with how we're going to enable every pupil in our lessons to really move from A to B and, and make those jumps. Three, four, five, six. Who wants to be the medical researcher? I'll be the family. But who else is the family? Really looking at debate, discussion. So it's about to bring up the ideas of controversy. You don't have to have a right answer. I believe in the right treatment and the right... and that millions of people will be free of horrible diseases. Yeah. I think everyone was pretty shy at first, but then a little bit towards the end they started getting a bit more confident. And answering all the questions. Yeah. Your group was really confident. Yeah. In your acting skills. You're right, love. Where have you been? Down the pub again. Right, that's it. I'm calling up the specialist. I'm afraid, judging from the test, that you're going to have to have a new liver. The waiting list is very long, but in the future, we are hoping to um, use bone marrow to um, match stem cells to uh, help repair uh, the liver. You want to make your lessons relevant to children. You know, that's part of learning is attaching things to your own frameworks that you've got at the moment. You can see where they're coming from. What are the current issues that are, you know. What a, what's bothering them at the moment, how is it bothering them. Um, and so your lessons can become much more accessible to the rest of the class by including children in, okay. in that planning process. Stem cells from the baby's umbilical cord could help me by... Yeah, could help me by the stem cells turning into nerve cells which can repair my spine and cure my disability. All right, take the cells. Thank you. Hands up who thought group one, that was the minister and leukaemia. Hands up group one was the most informative. Okay, the alcoholic and medical researcher, so the liver, okay, and cords, donating cords. Well done group two. They'll be sweeties next lesson. I think it went quite well, but I don't know. I thought it would be better than that. We missed out the ending, didn't we? Yeah. Because we ran out of time. We didn't get to do the closing conclusion. part. But I think the role play went really yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd take the opportunity to bring the staff together, really just to talk about different aspects of planning with pupils. Uh, Deputy Head Andy Samways leads a cross-department meeting on whether these new approaches to planning could work throughout the school. Yesterday we got together with a group of four pupils from 10T2 and we planned the lesson for today and then I've, I've delivered the lesson this morning. Uh, I really enjoyed the process and I think the pupils did as well. I haven't had a chance to speak to them individually, uh, but the lesson seemed to go fine. The lesson that the kids developed themselves really did focus on how they learn best. What did you see coming out of those pupils in terms of what else other than the learning they got from that lesson? They learn how to manage the lesson and organise themselves and they then had the end point in mind. Uh, they do like having the plenary which I know we go on and on and on about but it <laughs> became not so much in the planning but at the end two of the people said we ran out of time for the plenary, we ran out of time for the end and they both said we wish we could have had the ending in. And it was just for me that was a really strong message. It's interesting because I was um, doing some planning with some pupils yesterday and um, it, it didn't go where I thought it would, which, which, you know, I thought, oh, I know where they'll take this. I mean, these pupils are actually planning a lesson to deliver to a, to a small group. You know, they came up with some ideas that I would never have thought of at all. Did they see that as their own personalisation of it then? Yeah, would I think so. Would they have understood so. that? Probably not that word. No. But, they, but, they... <laughs> but certainly, you know, where they wanted to take it um, and the sorts of ideas they had, 
I mean, I've been teaching quite a while, and I thought, I've, oh, I've seen all of these things, but actually, they were coming up with fresh stuff. Mm. Uh, now, if we're finding that, NQTs yeah. or graduate trainees, yeah. for yeah, they've just come into the classroom, we need to be, I suppose, yeah. be thinking about how we share that with them. As an NQT, you know, it's, it's been useful, yeah, oh, for absolutely. you. Oh, that, that, absolutely. That our moment of the confirmation coming back yeah. from the pupils. Yes of you're asking them in a very safe environment, evaluate my lessons for me in front of me, please. Yes. Because, yes. And they are, they're giving you back yeah. great feedback about your own lessons of what you've already delivered. Right, I, think, I think we could actually develop it more in geography. I didn't actually even plan the lesson. They did the resources and everything. So they were planning for the lesson for... Future for the lessons. next for the next lesson and when they started to de deliver it they didn't like being interrupted they quiet yeah. them because they listen yeah yeah and um, they feel responsible as well for listening when the other people are talking yeah so they took yeah. on that responsibility yeah. you're getting a win out of it the pupils are getting Absolutely. a win out of it so hopefully and there's a school we'll hopefully get a win because the pupils are wanting to actually engage even more in their learning yeah smashing okay now your teachers have been working immensely hard to plan a lesson that is exciting, interesting, and let me say it very challenging. Okay, so I hope you've got your thinking hats on. So I'm going to think of a number. So it's between 0 and 10. Is it above 5? Yes, it is. So what do you do if it's above 5? Um, you would cross out all the numbers below 5 on the um, line. Numbers up. Last night I really looked at what we was doing yesterday and worked out what we had to do so I could teach them because if I didn't know what I was doing then they wouldn't learn either. Is it a Yeah, too big. Mr Yasmin, stick that on your head. Stick on your head without looking at it. I did think the activities that I planned were right. Um, I added a few on because a few of my group were smarter. If you had to round it, what would, what would that be? Because if that's six, you, so you'd probably say a number like 5.65. Yeah. At first, they all didn't understand, which I think was quite good because towards the end, they all started to get a grip on the subject and I felt really proud of myself. 6.78. And one person was struggling, so Billy helped him and I played with the other group so they didn't get bored and stay in there. I just want to stop us now to make sure, you know, I want to see where we're all up to. So I have got a number written down here. It's got an element of risk in it and we have to manage it very carefully and check that the understanding is, is being transferred. Although there is that risk, I think it's paying off really well because, you know, what's coming back is the children are enjoying it, they are getting a much richer experience. There's a real enthusiasm to learn from your own peers. That's something we want to continue. So it's either 3.4 or 3.5. How are you going to tell me which one it is? What question are you going to ask now? James? Would you say 3.45? That is too small. You think we've got enough information, Dan? 3.5? 3.5, yes, to one decimal place. It yeah. was good because we got a chance to experiment with learning and teaching rather than just learning and then copying it into books so yeah. as much more. I think we all, ha all have a bit more respect for teachers and all the effort they put in for to the work, I Definitely. think. Yeah, because yeah. 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 it's like, quite difficult organising it all. Yeah.